I'm Dave Hottenstein, owner of uh, Gallery 67 Restorations and Classics. As you can see, I work on the old stuff here, and I'm a one-man shop, uh, which leads you to uh, need help taking these old hoods and deck lids off these old trucks, old cars. Uh, these from the 60s, 70s, 80s uh, are extremely heavy, and instead of calling your buddy over, uh, ideally it's a three-man job to take a hood off manually, and plus they're some of these trucks are fairly tall. So I designed this tool um, this, to put on a pretty common engine crane uh, to slide over the main boom. Uh, this main pole here goes out to another uh, axis or cross pole. This whole thing will fold up into a five foot long box by about eight inches square. All these fingers are 360 degrees adjustable. You can attach any point underneath of any hood and I've yet to find one, I can't do it. Uh, in any age of vehicle. Uh, I've already got this clamped on to the hood and you can flip these things upside down and it will not release it. It is built strong enough uh, to handle it. Can it be made aluminum? Possibly, but I haven't done that yet. Okay. Okay, as you can see, you can jack it up by use of the engine crane. You can jack it up under the vehicle. And at this point, you can roll it back. You can roll it anywhere in your shop. Uh, you can make the thing uh, uh, level and you can do your bodywork, prime and paint from one end of the spectrum to the other, roll it back to your vehicle and reattach it to one man. Okay. Okay, now as you can see, I've reattached the hood back on the truck and this can be turned into a parts tree by turning the pole vertically. And, and again, these, these uh, fingers can adjust anywhere by a pinch bolt. Two sides are the out. We've got two different hooks, two style different hooks to uh, attach by anything too. So, and then a pinch bolt to those two. Once that pinch bolts are tightened on the main beam here, I've hung Chevy truck doors, uh, box sides. It will hold it. But as you can see, I have a simple fender on here. It can be done the same, primed, painted, what have you. So it is essentially two tools in one. Uh, I would think it was be marketed at like 375 bucks a piece and uh, millions uh, available. So thank you very much.